120 hours, 120 hours was put into a single car. So, first of all, if you don't know what this is, this is a 2016 Porsche GT3 RS. This is actually one of the few cars money cannot buy. And what I mean by that, yes, you can go buy one, but what I mean by that is that you cannot go to a dealership, walk in and say, I want a GT3 RS. You can't. It's impossible. These are reserved for people who have already been a 911 owner and have accumulated, I don't know what the dollar amount is, but a good deal amount of money with Porsche before they could even get on the waiting list to buy one of these. So on the used market, these are obviously very sought after and very expensive. My client had bought this last year in uh, out of California, and it had come with an X-Bell paint protection film wrap, but it was a satin finish. Uh, looked great. was actually a decent job. It was decently done. Good brand name of uh, uh, paint protection film. Absolutely no complaints. Well, my client bought it in May, and he had the unfortunate mishap in October of intersecting with a deer in a suburban neighborhood. Odd place to hit a deer, but it happened, unfortunately. And he had spent the better part of the last six months at a body shop. So once it got done, which wasn't much damage, it was pretty much sacrificial. The front bumpers uh, covering and the driver fender because it's carbon fiber had to get replaced. Uh, so he came to me to get those two panels uh, reinstalled with a satin paint protection film. Uh, so when it came to me, the immediate thing I saw was, ah, I think the color is a bit off because obviously if you can't tell, we, we have quite a bit of bright lighting here. Um, it seemed a little bit milky, but you know, obviously I'm looking at satin paint protection film. I really didn't think much of, of the color until I went to go put a test piece of uh, Premium Shields satin paint protection film on a, like a small section and noticed a significant difference. And not necessarily in the sheen, that, that's a different discussion, but the color. So the film that was on here was yellowed. It had oxidized, which obviously coming out of California can be an expected thing. So now my customer, who was just expecting to get these two panels repaired, has to make a very difficult choice. Do we replace just, or we do we install these two fenders and kind of just overlook the fact that we're going to have two white panels in a yellow car? Do we replace the whole vehicle with satin wrap or do we go to a gloss wrap? Well, after going some uh, back and forth and obviously working through the, the financial uh, burdens of it, we decided to do a full rewrap and this time to do gloss. That is an endeavor, a very, very big endeavor. It is one thing to take a brand new car from a dealership and put paint protection film on it. It's a completely different thing to take a used car, do some paint correction, and put paint protection film on it. And it is not even in the same ballpark to do a paint protection film removal, then obviously with that aggressive removal process to then paint correct and then install new film. So that in itself, uh, I'll give you an idea, it took about two weeks to get the car to a position where we could apply new paint protection. So we had to first remove all the film and probably our method wasn't the fastest, uh, but it definitely was the safest. A lot of companies may use a heat gun or a heat lamp to heat up the adhesive and remove the film. Uh, we felt like that might have been a little bit too aggressive, especially on certain panels that absorb heat really well, like carbon fiber. And being that 80% of the car is carbon fiber, we want to kind of consider that. We use steam. Uh, steam is just, just as effective, is obviously safe, uh, it doesn't get the film hot enough, just hot enough to remove the, uh, the adhesive, but obviously it's a much more enduring process. Very, very enduring. Now, being that this is what you would qu consider a supercar, I have it to give it the supercar treatment. So using a pre-cut uh, uh, pattern from Premium Shield wasn't just quite as sufficient. Now, is pattern paint protection film the, the best choice? 
it's not a bad choice. I don't think it's the ultimate choice. And I also don't think doing what they call bulk wrap, where actually I just take a roll of film and mold it to the car is the best choice either because it's going to require, you know, a, a bulk install is going to require a tremendous amount of cutting, meaning that you're going to put a knife against the car. I don't care how much experience you have. The, the chances of you going through paint is very, very, very high. Um, so we've, I found that Mixing the two is the best to use a pattern, but then oversize the pattern in certain areas. So like the headlights and the uh, uh, the headlight sprayers, the fog lamps, things of that area where I can modify the, the, the film just a little bit further to give me a little bit to tuck around the corner. We I find that to be the best uh, it, you know, set up where you're using a little bit of the both, you know, oversized patterns as usually what I like to do. So being that I was going to do that, that obviously is going to require disassembly. So after removing the film, after doing the paint correction, next is disassembly. And that is not an easy task. That is definitely somebody who has been around cars, that takes experience to know how to remove a car properly. Uh, headlight, taillights, fog lights, uh, turn signals, hand, uh, door handles, mirrors, side window, all got removed. So basically anything that wasn't paint got removed off the car. And then we also loosened the front bumper, loosened the rear bumper to be able to get a little bit of gaps around the areas and tuck the film. Then we spend the better part of probably about eight, eight days a week uh, to wrap the entire car. We used uh, Premium Shields paint protection film, their Elite SH. SH stands for self-healing. Um, we love the film. We handpicked them out SEMA. We looked at all the other vendors that were there, and the brand just stood out on its own, on its clarity, the lack of texture or orange peel, uh, and the fact that the adhesive was fairly aggressive and uh, the, the, the end user's experience was really well. Two things that stood out is lifetime warrantied against yellowing and all that jazz, which is obviously a big plus, especially when you're doing an install of this stature. You definitely don't want to redo this every five years. So that is a big advantage. But the other advantage that I really liked as well is that its self-healing ability is not... Uh, it's not in the need of using external heat source. So other brands like Expel and SunTech and all these other brands out there, they do offer self-healing uh, paint protection film, but most of them require an external heat source like a, a, a blow dryer or ideally like a heat gun. And that wasn't something that I felt was comfortable to, to leave up to the end user. Uh, Premium Shields paint protection film heals in, in ambient temperatures around 80 degrees. So you don't need a heat panel. You don't need to get anything hot. Just being that a nice warm day or warm garage, the product will self-heal. So that's absolutely a, a big advantage. Now, we also top that with ceramic coating. We used uh, Gion's uh, paint protection film ceramic coating. So it's specifically designed to go on paint protection film cars. Um, if you're right now asking yourself, well, it's already protected. Why do you need a ceramic coating? Well, ceramic coating's advantage is it does offer UV protection and it offers an extremely hydrophobic uh, surface, meaning that a very slick surface. Um, the paint protection film does have hydrophobic properties, but nowhere near the realm uh, that a ceramic coating has. And so the advantage of topping a paint protection film with ceramic is you're gonna gain some gloss, which is obviously always a plus. Nobody, nobody ever complains about too much gloss in a car. Um, and then you also gain UV uh, it, it resistance, which obviously the coat, the film is UV inhibiting, but if I can put a s product on top of a very expensive wrap, I, it's, it's, I, in my mind, it's that much more beneficial. I have another layer that's combating against the UV. UV is by far the most detrimental uh, environmental hazard for your car. It's obviously something that, you know, a car like this, I see most of its life is sunny days. Uh, so the UV is there. And then the last, the hydrophobic properties, the ability of self-cleaning, meaning that the surface is so hydrophobic, it wants to clean itself. A GT3 RS obviously is destined for the track. That's why the customer is getting a full wrap. So having a ceramic coating that is easy to clean, so once you go to that track day and you got that hot rubber and oil and all the, the fun stuff that a racetrack throws at a car, you don't have to spend the next couple of days or hire a professional like me to get your car clean. 
you can just wash it in your driveway with ease and get the same results as if you brought it to me. And honestly, you can go to the track in the morning, wash the car in the afternoon, and go to a car show in the evening. That is really why the ceramic coating is such an advantage putting over paint protection film. Uh, so we also did that. And then we also did ceramic coating on the interior, uh, which is all Alcantara interior. Uh, Alcantara is a synthetic material that it's man-made material. Uh, it's similar to microfiber, but obviously if you ever felt it, it has a very suede, very nice feeling to it. And on a GT3 like this, uh, the steering wheel, the, the seat cushions, the dashboard, the, uh, the roof headliner, all has Alcantara. So we first had to decontaminate it because it is a 2016. We had to shave off the, the five years of use off of it. And we used steam to do that. That uh, body oil and dirt evaporates around 140, so steam cuts through that with ease without damaging the surface, like using a chemical, which you run the risk of using like an all-purpose cleaner uh, of staining the Alcantara. It's a very sensitive material when it comes to what type of chemical you can use. So steam, being that it's just water, very safe, uh, we'll go ahead and clean it. And then after that, we topped all the Alcantara with Gion's uh, Q2 uh, fabric coat. Um, similar to maybe Scotchgard, but this is a ceramic based uh, product. And the advantage, unlike Scotchgard, is that there's no uh, difference in the texture. You don't feel anything different. It doesn't feel matty or stiffer like a Scotchgard would. It feels completely natural, feels like Alcantara, which is that soft, supple feeling. But the advantage is now is that it's going to resist body oil. It's going to resist building up of dirt. So like the steering wheel, which was heavily matted, it's going to stand up to that type of abuse that much longer. And again, on a car like this, well worth the investment. And then the last thing, which is by far one of the things I would say not a lot of people, especially in my community, would even tackle is ceramic coating the wheels. Now, when we ceramic coat the wheels, we get the car up on the lift and we remove the wheels. Well, with this car, if you don't know what a GT3 RS is, one of its huge thing, features that it has is that it has center lock wheels. So like maybe your car at home has four or five or six lug nuts. This has one single very large lug nut that you have to very carefully remove and very carefully reinstall. The reason that you have to be careful and extremely cautious is that its brake rotors are made out of carbon ceramic. They're very, very, very fragile against impact damage. They're obviously good for breakings, but not really good at taking a drop wheel on it. So you have to be very cautious at removing this magnesium wheel that's surround, you know, surrounding a carbon ceramic brake that wants to break it every second. And obviously with a, a seven figure car, things get very expensive very quickly. So you have to have the right tools to do that. So we, we obviously have done it before. We safely did it on this vehicle. Then we decontaminate the wheel, remove all the track tars and all the, the tire goop and all that nastiness that your tires accumulate. And then we coated that with Gion Rim. Gion Rim was initially, obviously the rim, kind of the name gives it away. It was designed specifically for wheel coating. It is safe on all types of wheels, chrome, metal, aluminum, uh, satin, which are these wheels. It's a safe product to apply to it. Last mm, 18 to 20,000 miles, again, depending on your maintenance. But again, for a track car, makes it super easy to clean. And that's really all that we're trying to do. We're trying to minimize damaging to the vehicle as we enjoy it, and then also making cleaning process that much easier. The vehicle still will always need some level of cleaning. We just want to minimize the efforts to require the clean and also the duration between the clean. So this package just really brings everything together. A fully wrapped body, every single panel on the outside is wrapped in paint protection, self-healing paint protection film, topped with a ceramic coating so it's easy to maintain. And, and then obviously everything meticulously put back together and cleaned as it was getting put back together just really brings the true essence of what this car stands for. It's a driver's car, it's it's a car guy's car, and I wanted to give it the, the, the honor that it deserves by going through this process. So 120 hours is a long time 
to be putting into a single vehicle. And I'm very proud that my customer was willing to give me the pay, room and the time to uh, be able to work my craftsmanship on this car. And I have to say that the, the results speak for themselves. It's just been absolutely immense. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, always comment below. Happy to help you out.